what I've been called, a sexual predator, a paedophile, an abuser, all by the man who alleges he suffered that exact abuse as a child growing up. Layla Machado Gary is one of the most controversial figures in the world of mixed martial arts right now. Layla and her husband, UFC welterweight contender Ian Gary, have been catching heat for months now. It all started when word got out about Layla's book, How to Be a Wag. Yeah, you heard that right. A book about snagging a sports star. Talk about a controversial plot twist. Suddenly, everyone's playing Sherlock Holmes, questioning if their love is legit or just a publicity stunt. Enter Sean Strickland, the former middleweight champ with a mouth as fierce as his punches. Dude straight up called Layla a demon and a succubus. Shots fired, folks. But Layla wasn't about to take that sitting down. Nah, she hit back harder than a knockout punch in the last round. Her Insta video, absolute fire. She called out Strickland for not fact checking and set the record straight like a boss. Shall we do this? The top three lies you believed about Ian Machado Gary. This tsunami of aggression towards the undefeated welterweight all exploded when former middleweight title holder and current multiple world bullshit title holder Sean Strickland read a clickbait headline but didn't bother to fact check or read the whole article. So let's begin with lie number one. Ian took his wife's ex-husband's surname. I can't believe anyone would accept this to be true, but the MMA community picked it up and ran a full marathon with it. In fact, some people are still running with it now, gripping on with sweaty, trembling fingers in order to justify blatant trolling. It's not true. It never was true. Mashadu is my maiden name. We added our names together when we got married. It's not that big a deal. Now that you know that it was a lie, you can kick yourself for believing it, preferably in the face. Lie number two, his wife's ex lives with them. <sighs> There's a pattern here. A lot of the lies are about his wife. I'm so glad she's finally clearing it up. No, no, he doesn't. He never has done. I find that a bit weird. I, yeah, I wouldn't want to, no. This lie was born out of the mouth of an MMA YouTuber desperate for clicks. When you make a channel entirely dedicated to your opinion on others, you have to somewhat admit that your own talent isn't enough. Lie number three, Ian is a cuck. Step back up, Sean Strickland, a man who's unlikely to be au fait with the Shakespearean English he unwittingly used when calling Ian a cuck. First penned in the story of Othello, the word cuckold refers to the fear of a man who's been betrayed by his wife. Sean Strickland has been talking an awful lot about Ian Gary's wife. I've been called a sexual predator, a paedophile, an abuser, all by the man who alleges he suffered that exact abuse as a child growing up. In the Shakespearean classic, Lego tells Othello about Desmonda's adultery and he blindly believes the rumors. It's serendipity and not merely coincidental that Lego was lying. There was no truth to the story at all. Othello, like the crowd at UFC 298, was cruelly misled by Lego's jealousy and insecurities. Othello was never the cuckold he was called. His wife was never an adulteress. And notably, when the lies were exposed, Lego was taken away to be tortured and killed. Thank you, Shakespeare. But hold up, it's not over yet. Strickland wasn't backing down either. Nah, he doubled down, calling Layla an attention seeker, trying to stir the pot. Talk about throwing gasoline on the fire. I don't want to call you by your name, because if we know anything about demons, the moment you start using their name, it gives it power, and that's all you want, right? Power and attention. <clears throat> when you post a picture, this is why you're talking about me. When you post a picture and you get those fake plastic titties in that tiny little dress, and you realize, man, I'm an old lady. No one wants to see me half naked in a dress. You think to myself, how can I get the attention that I want? How can I get what I want? You talk about me, you bring my name up. You've never done anything, you've never accomplished anything. The only thing you've ever done is seduce famous men. And let me tell you why you're such a despicable person. Everybody has gone and went and forgot about this. We've accepted in, we've accepted you, disgusting it may seem, and you bring this back up and tarnish your husband's name just because that little insecure succubus demon inside you wants attention. Whatever succubus cave you came from, just go back to it. Now let's rewind to last November. Ian Gary wasn't too pleased with Strickland's verbal jabs either. Nope, he threatened to bring out the legal big guns and sue. 
Drama overload, am I right? But Strickland, he's not one to shy away from the limelight. He aired their private texts for the world to see. No holds barred. But let's take a beat here, folks. Can we just appreciate the sheer spectacle of it all? It's like watching a reality TV show, but with more testosterone and fewer rose ceremonies. So guys, where do you stand? Are you Team Strickland, Team Gary, or just here for the popcorn? Drop those emojis and let's get this virtual showdown started. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to follow Sports Key to MMA on all our social media platforms.